everyone. So now that you understand your mindset, I want to help you use that mindset to envision the future within our five-year plan. Now, when we're talking about creating the five-year plan, we're first going to talk about goals. Then we're going to talk about your CEO self-concept. From there, we're going to talk about the bigger picture and zooming out because this program is all about finding fulfillment through entrepreneurship. And I truly want you to feel that inside and outside of your business. And then of course, we're going to actually get into the tactical five-year plan where we're going to create your foggy future vision. Now it says you should set goals beyond your reach. So you always have something to live for. And when we're thinking about this, what I want you to know is that your brain is one of the most amazing and I think highly underutilized tools that we have. I truly believe, especially those of you that have um, service-based businesses, just think about it. The whole reason why your business exists is because you have first, like you've seen your unique gifts and talents and use them as a way to like give something a purpose to other people. The other piece of that is your mind. These are the two strongest pieces that you have to build this business. Now, when we're thinking about your brain, your brain is a problem seeking and solving tool. However, a lot of times when our brain goes unmanaged, why thought work is like the most important part is you want to make sure that that mind is being solution focused instead of problem focused by just naturally our brains are more problem focused. That's why every week I have you list five wins because it takes five positive thoughts to replace every negative thought that you have because our brains again are designed to look out for danger and that's they want to keep us safe so it's actually uh, there's a book about like hardwiring happiness we have to like rewire our nervous system and our brain to think positively on purpose that is why having the vision is such a powerful powerful tool to create something that is impossible things that didn't exist before. Our businesses are things that like really didn't exist before we thought about them. So when we're doing the impossible, the unknown, we want to be using our brain instead of catastrophizing to envision. Now, when you are thinking about your future goals, there are five, four to five kind of ways I want you to think about it. You can think about goals as soon as every day, every week, every month, but I want you to also focus on this year. What do you want to create this year? There are so many things that we can dream up and vision and aspire to become. And I want this process to feel light. I want you to feel like as you are creating your goals, I don't want it to be something that is used to punish yourself. And I think a lot of us based on, and I was a teacher, so I fully support the school system. However, I think that our educational system could use some areas of improvement in the way that we use a benchmark to determine our self-worth, whether we're a good student or a bad student. And I want you to know that this is, you're an adult now, and we wanna use goals just to inspire and improve the future, not to degrade and beat ourselves up. So within that, I want you to think about what would be amazing for you to create this year. Within the next 12 months, what would be something that could be fun? It can be something that's really far out there and something that you just really would like to create. And then we can create from this place of excitement and inspiration instead of something that feels very um, difficult. And the reason why we want to go further out five years, 10 years in your lifetime is because we want to give you perspective that this year is not the only year. There are going to be so many other years and the sooner we can heal our relationship with goals, the better. Now within this annual vision that you're creating this year, one of the things that I have found to be very recently, I've learned a lot about this. Um, one of my good friends, Charlotte Smith, she is one of my coaches and she has taught me how to set goals from gratitude. And we're going to be talking about how to do that in a moment. But really, I want you to be in a place right now, as you watch this video, no matter what day it is, 
I want you to find yourself and just appreciate what you've already created. There's so much that you created in your life that is so wonderful and good. And a lot of times we don't take time to cherish that, especially when we're looking towards the future. So we're gonna be presently envisioning a positive future when you think about your future goals. So covering the annually, what would be awesome if you covered this year? Then I want you to think about five years from now. I'm not sure what year it will be when you watch this video, but I want you to envision yourself in the future. What would it be so wonderful and exciting to accomplish five whole years from now? And then go even further, 10 years from now. How do you want to have grown 10 years from now? What would be so cool to like see yourself do and know that you are looking back on this day and actually discovering that? And then last but not least, when we're thinking about your lifetime, I want you to know that right now, I truly believe that you are in the right place at the right time. It's just what I choose to believe. And when you're thinking about the legacy that you want to create in the world, it's like, I want you to know that you've already done enough and you've already right now have left a really positive legacy on the world. You don't need to do anything more. Your business doesn't need to be anything more exuberant and exciting than it already is. However, if we were to dream a little bit more and be like, you know what, wouldn't it be neat if I could leave the world a better place with this? And when I have set goals like this, how do I want to leave the world? When I'm thinking about leaving the world with my legacy, what would be an amazing way to like look back and be like, I did that in this lifetime. Those are the ways that I want you to see your future goals. Now the first step, again, because this is the first two modules, I wanna give you a little like lay of the land for Google Classroom, is this is where you're going to click on that system where it says system. You're going to click on that and it will force the copy, like I mentioned in the first video, where you're going to have the five-year plan. And this is something that I actually, the beginning piece of this is something I gleaned from another coaching program called Online Coach um, Accelerator. It was by Rachel Bell. I want to try and like attribute her wherever I can or anyone who I get their uh, materials from. And I have been, I did this for the first two years of my business. And it is something that is really important and beautiful that we want to be doing in our businesses is daily re-envisioning what we want our future self to look like today. So that is what these directions say at the beginning part. Slow down, take three deep breaths, and become fully grounded. That's what I want you to do to start your day. And I actually wrote all of my five-year plan on a document, and then I actually used a voice recording so I could listen to it on the way to yoga every day, just to remind and reset myself to be my highest future self. Not that you are one of putting yourself on like a spectrum, but like your future self, not that it's higher than you right now, but like envisioning that every day as you go throughout your day. So that's what that document looks like. And we're gonna move forward to talk about your goals. Now, before we talk about goals, I want to talk to you about your CEO self-concept. Now, I don't care if you have made zero dollars in your business right now. I think this is the best time to invest in something like this is at the very beginning because you can start off with this path where you can see yourself as a CEO. I remember my dad, he was talking to me about my business. This is back in 2020 when I started my business. And he was like, oh, you're the CEO. And when I heard those words, I was like, whoa, it felt different. And I think that all of us are kind of reimagining what we want a CEO to look like. And we've seen a lot of examples of what a CEO could look like. And then we get to redefine that for ourselves. I want you to remember that many of you are going to be solopreneurs. And that means you are the only person in your business and you are wearing a lot of hats. I want you to think about what an amazing CEO would look like. Would they be kind? Would they be compassionate? 
Would they be really thought provoking? Would they be future focused? Would they have a, be a visionary and be able to picture things that are coming up in the future? I want you to think about the, like just who you would love to work for and that is going to be a part of your CEO self-concept, your future self self-concept. And I want you to think about the ter character traits that you would want to exhibit as you're leading your business. What would be the kind of things that you would want to be known for? If you were walking around a huge corporation and people are like, oh my gosh, that's a CEO. What would you want them to say? Would you want them to be like, oh, she's so thoughtful. She's so kind. She is so respectful. All those different things. What do you want to create in your business? And you could also think about things like being disciplined. Those are other kind of, or discipline, focused, motivated, determined, courageous, whatever. Remember when we talked about feelings are fuel, whatever your most powerful emotions are, we're going to get to know them. And those are the things that I want you to bring out as a CEO. Now there are no good or bad emotions. It's whatever fuels you. And so for me, one of those emotions is excited. I love feeling excited. I love having fun in my business. And that is not something that most CEOs that I have seen represented, I haven't necessarily seen that from them. And so some of the character traits are things that you would see exhibited. Other things are the way that you want your business to be run. Again, especially if you've made no money so far, you set the tone. You get to set the stage. This is your business and you get to create whatever kind of CEO self-concept that you want. That is what we are going to be thinking about today. The next thing, and for me, I listed a ton of character traits, so I had to condense a couple and like add them. And I wrote like a whole sentence afterwards. So feel free to do that too. And then the next thing are your beliefs. So when you're thinking about your beliefs about who you want to be, it's like one of them for me is like, whenever people are in my business, I want them to feel like they're home. I want them to feel a sense of deep belonging. And that is, or like I, um, we are purposeful leaders that are changing the world. That's another core belief that I have. You can think about it like a kind of signature mission, mission ish statement kind of, but it's just kind of things that you want to be believing about you and your mission. Because as you go and grow your business, it's, going to be different. There are going to be some obstacles that come up. There might be some challenges that come up. And if you can ingrain into the CEO self-concept, it's going to make everything so much easier. So the next piece is really fun. And I want you to take this time. If we are like waiting to work together, if the group hasn't started yet, if you are on the wait list for one-on-one -on -one coaching, this is a great time to do this is create a foggy future vision. Use whatever time we have allotted for our future coaching sessions. I want you to use this time to imagine and dream about what you want your life to be like. Now you might be thinking, Megs, this is a business course. Shouldn't we just be talking about our business? Yes and no. I think that one of the things I've learned very deeply in the past couple of weeks is that the more me I can be in my business, true and genuine and authentic, the more people come, which is really important. So I want you to think about all aspects of your life. What do you want your whole life to look like? And you can use that five years from now or 10 years from now. What are the different aspects? And we're going to use, I'll show you in a second, the wheel of life activity to create that. So when you're thinking about the wheel of life, there are four categories. There's your mental health, thinking about, okay, what is my contribution in the world? There's your spiritual side, which is the side I'm like learning a little bit more about, but it's just thinking about like how you view yourself and how you view your intuition and guiding yourself and the world around you. There's also your emotional piece of life. How are you building the relationships and fostering them as you grow? And the physical side of life. What do you want things to actually look like? And a very important piece of that is your relationship with time and money. So when you're thinking about the five-year plan, I'll have it on the document for you. You'll see it in a second. But what you're going to do is you're going to take each of these eight categories, eight 
to 10 categories. I, I broke up some of them. Depends on the worksheet I'm giving you. And within there, I want you to look at each category. One of them is your relationship with yourself. And I want you to think about, as you are developing your relationship with yourself, what would you rank that relationship on a scale of one to 10? One being not so great, 10 being amazing. And so you're just gonna do a deep reflection and you're gonna think about what your relationship is with all of these aspects of your life. From there, once you choose that category, I want you to think about why. Why did you rank at that number? If you're a three, I, I think that low numbers mean high potential. And so I would say like right now, I'm at like a six with my relationship with myself. And why is because I'm not always consistent with my self coaching. The goal is never to be perfect with your self coaching or any system that I give you. However, I would like to be more consistent with it. So I've been good about the month of August in 2023. Um, I also, just would like to be more consistent with that. I also have recently started getting back into getting coached. I try and get coached. I love coaching. I get coached like every single day and it's awesome. And so I would encourage you to do the things that work for you and make those stand out and help that. And then I think about what it would look like to be a 10 in five years. So then you go to the next category. You're going to see it's like a little um, spreadsheet and you're going to think about what would it look like to be a 10. And I'm like, oh, future Megan. And I actually write it in third person, which is kind of cool. So I'm like, Megs is a loving, compassionate leader that starts with her first. She makes sure that she's well taken care of and embodies the character traits that exhibit self care so she can show up for other people. I'm just like spitballing here. But I want you to weave the best picture that you possibly could picture in five years. It's really important because if your brain is like, oh, there's an alternative to the catastrophes that I've been having and it thinks about something that's wonderful and good, then you're actually going to start and start living like that person today. So like for me, when I got dressed today, I was like, this is future Megan's outfit. I love this outfit. I feel like it makes me feel like the powerful CEO that is powerful in a kind way that I want to be. And so I can just see that in myself and I want you to start showing up like that CEO version of yourself every day, especially when we come to our coaching calls. This has been a really interesting piece because I was told that by a coach when I first started coaching, like show up as your future self every call. And it really does shift the way that you sit down for your day when you are showing up like your future self. You're like, hmm. And I have this listed underneath there. It's like, okay, what would my future self be wearing? Where is she? Or he, or them, anybody. It's like, what is, what is this human doing? What are the kind of experiences they're having? And just really building it out. So this is a future self Megan outfit. But for me, my future self, when I'm envisioning myself, I can see her very clearly. She wears a white pantsuit and she is so nice and she like her eyes just like sparkle like it's like you kind of like um i don't know it's just like you can just tell that she's just, like excited about life and she just can't wait to tell you about it but she's also like looking really cool and every time that i'm feeling stuck in my business i look to her and i'm like what did you do to get there i was like because this is a hot mess i don't know what's going on like this year i was locked out of social media for two months i'm like please help, help make this better. And it still worked out, of course, because it always works out. But within that future self concept, I want you to share that vision with me as well. I want to be in on it to know who your future self is. And when you are, and sometimes I'll even ask you, I'm like, okay, what would your future self do in this situation? And an additional self coaching that you can do every day, I added to the bottom, I said, this is something that I do every day is I ask myself, what would my future self be thinking? What would my future self be doing? And what advice would my future self have to give me today? It is crazy the things that I come up with and so awesome. And that is it for this slide. It's like I'm gonna save that little nugget for later. <laughs> Okay, yes, so I said on the bottom there, that's why I was saying the thought work is optional, but it's really helpful for you when you're thinking about that future version of yourself. Now, one of the things that 
I think is really important about that future self is for me, I went, when I first started my business, and this is a true story, I, are we good? Are we cool? I was like, <laughs> so within my business, I realized that I was, um, I went through a little bit of a time. So I had this vision for all these people I could help. And I created this strong vision the summer of 2020. I announced that I was coaching in fall of 2020 as well. And when I announced it, I was thinking I was going to coach children. And then I had been getting life coach for two years at the time. And I had a lot of my peers reach out to me and they were like, what happened is life coaching? What happened to you two years ago? Because you were a completely different person. You're on time to things. You're actually like responding to people. Um, and I really just shifted who I was. They wanted that. That's why they started working with me. So I started my business and I went through and I got through, I had like four to six clients at the beginning. And then in October, I was told again to step away from that future self. And I was like told to be more professional. And I was told like, I wouldn't take you seriously. I would never pay you money. By, by people who loved and cared about me, but didn't have businesses and didn't know about this kind of stuff. And they were like, yeah, straighten it up. Be more professional. Be very serious. And as you can probably tell, I'm not serious at all. It was very inauthentic and not genuine. And people could feel that. People knew that I wasn't really being myself. And so I didn't get a consult for seven months. Seven months at the very beginning of my business. Yes, I had my clients I was working with, but I didn't even get a single consult, let alone getting people to say yes on a consult. And I was reflecting on that recently, and I'm like, what the fuck? Or just, what the heck? But I was like, got me through that time. I'm going to curse a lot. I was like, just be ready for it. But like, I was like, what got me through that time? What most humans would be like, really doesn't seem like it's working. And I posted every day. I did an Instagram live back when that was a thing every Monday for like 30 minutes to an hour. Okay. To nobody, by the way, no one would show up. No one would like it. No one would comment on it. Still to this day, I get very few likes, very few comments. What made me keep showing up even when I wasn't getting consults? And what made me keep showing up is that I really believed that I was going to have a six figure business, not like six figure Megan, even though I was getting a ton of coaching and I was in a lot of like emotional turmoil, I was still like, yeah, she's still going to keep posting. She's not just going to give up. So that is what got me through. And I know, I really hope that like we can prevent anytime when you don't get consults, like my goal is that I can help you to avoid that and like help you be more authentic and genuine so that that doesn't happen to you. However, if it happens, it's okay. You're going to get through it, but this self-concept will help you get through it. So within that, I would like for this, like I mentioned, to be one of a piece of your daily practice, whether it's in the thought work piece, whether it's something that you're listening to, whether it's something that you just remind yourself in the morning, hey, future Megan, future you, what would you do today and start your day? So I want to let you know, this is the last of the three startup modules. You're doing amazing. Like the fact that you're, I know it's a lot of information to take in. And I know that this is going to add some extra time. We're going to talk about how you are planning your time during the week later on. And I know that you are taking time to like listen to these videos, taking time to like do these worksheets. And I want to let you know that this is worth it. What I'm trying to do is condense all of this learning into like six hours of information, but all the things that I'm going to teach you will save you six hours a week, hopefully at minimum. In, and especially like in the future when you're able to offboard and delegate to other employees that you maybe eventually hire, this is going to save you so much time. So I just want to say thank you for like going through this. I really do think that it's going to be the thing that is just going to like really help your business take off. And I am just so grateful for the work that you're doing in the world.